I love it, dude. Um, so, you, you know, you have season three. Do you, do you try to sway Jeff in certain ways the way Scott goes? Or is he just like, nope, not doing it? Jeff is one of the smartest people I know. Um, he does such a good job of coming up with, with storylines and twisting them and coming up with crazy scenarios. So I leave him to it. He has a great idea. Um, where Scott's going, and, and it's 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 the same. It's, I want I want to take him in the same direction. Uh, so we have a very similar idea where Scott wants to go. Um, so uh, I mean, sometimes I'll be like, I think Scott should really do this because I've been playing him for like two years. So I think uh, sometimes I'll be like, okay, Scott should be thinking this. And he'll be like, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. So we'll shoot it a different way. Sometimes they'll use my take. Other times they'll use his. So I do have a say, um, but mostly I let Jeff handle it. Your, your character has obviously matured over the, the run of the show so far. Um, how, how much of that is a reflection of, of you maturing as a, as a person, as an actor, and how much of that is, you know, just storytelling? It's, it's, it's a lot of both, definitely. Um, I mean, I look back to the pilot, which wasn't that long ago. It wasn't even three years ago. Three years ago, this, this year. Um, and I look so young. And I remember thinking back when we were filming, I was like, dude, I was such a little kid. Like, it's, it's insane how much I've grown in the past, like, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that definitely adds a huge element in it. Because um, uh, it's, it's hard to hide maturing on screen, you know? But it also works for the character, because the character needs to go somewhere. He's got this great arc in season two. He's got a great overall seasonal arc, you know? Um, so it's uh, a series arc next season. Um, but yeah, he's uh, it's 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 a little bit of both, definitely. Yeah. Do you, uh, no, no, I was just gonna say, um, you you're now the show's now becoming a certified M T V hit, so I'm I'm sure it's impacting your life now. How how has it impacted your life? Are you still able to walk the show for a Comic Con or that might be hard. Going <laughs> walk, walk, walking around in Comic Con is something that I uh, I can't just I can't do. Um, without being like stopped and, but I'm okay with it I love it I love it I, I embrace everything that's come my way with Teen Wolf and I uh, I really have a lot of fun um, interacting with fans and making them feel good and, and, and you know I, I just really like doing that kind of stuff so yeah it's definitely changed my life in a huge completely better way um, on shows like this you'll sometimes see how it starts like to get involved in the post-production movement yeah. maybe sometimes directing it yeah. uh, do you think you'll want to do that? Directing is something that I don't think I could do because um, it's not like it's not like I hate it. I, I, I would actually want to be in the editing room and have a say in that because that's a lot of fun. That's really cool. I really enjoy doing that kind of stuff. But directing, like, it's just something I can't wrap my head around. I can take direction, but I can't give it. Like, it's just it doesn't make sense to me. Like, um, I don't know. I've never really tried though. So maybe maybe I could. But like, if a director tells me something, I'll be like, wow, how the hell did you think of that? <laughs> so. So that's that's usually what like makes me realize that I can't direct. But I think being in the editing room would be a lot of fun. I have yet to. I haven't had any say in what goes in the final product. But um, they not let like you in the editing room. No, they do. I, they they're always like Tyler, come down to the editing room. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll be there tomorrow, and I just forget for something, or, <laughs> or I'll get busy, or um, but hopefully season three I will make it to the editing room. I say that every year. But season three, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> the the makeup process when you do it. Is it as bad as they say? Is it something you've, you've sort of gotten used to? You know, I think I think people skew it a lot. You know, it's it's so easy, man. For what I do, I can't complain. You know, I mean, it's it's um, like I think I have a I, I, I wear a lot less makeup than a lot of other people on other shows. Like Spawn, he had a whole, he had every, everything was covered. Um, for me, it's just my face. And my eyes and my teeth. And it does get a little annoying sometimes to have it in place all, all, all day, but like in the end, like I can't be in order. Right? So um, I mean, it's, it's it's a weird process, but I've definitely gotten used to it. Um, it's yeah, it's 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 easy. Yeah, definitely. Do you uh, do you? Because with you, it takes them a lot of your time, especially now you're doing 24 episodes. It's a lot of shooting time. Do you are you still trying to find out the roles to do in, in the break? Uh, that's that's a that's a thing that's hard while I'm filming Teen Wolf. Um, it's good. It was different because in At I used to film in Atlanta, and uh, I would put myself on, on audition tape. Like I would tape myself, um, and we would send it to LA. Uh, so this time around, I can actually go out and audition, 
but I don't want it. I'll be so busy that I don't think I'll have time to. Because it was so, being in Atlanta, it was easy to audition because you could just do it in your room, in your house, and send it off. This, I'll actually have to like, go out and prepare it and, and do a lot of things that wasn't as easy to do in Atlanta, but um, I don't know. I'll try. I'll see. If, so, if something really, really comes my way that I really like and I want to be a part of, I'll try hard for it. <laughs> but if it's something that's just like, eh. Are you a fan of the audition process? Because I know SmackDown's not. Auditioning is a weird, very bizarre thing. I I used to hate it when I was a little kid. Now I um, I'm almost indifferent about it. Like I, I enjoy it kind of because uh, it's my job. I've, gone, I've come to realize that this is my job. This, this is part of what I do. So it's it's easier now. Um, but auditioning is, is a very very bizarre process. You're just you're basically getting rejected all the time. So it's something that I. Rejection is something that doesn't really affect me at all. I don't really... But for some actors, you know, it's like... It, it hits them hard, especially when they're really going out for something that they really, really want. So, I mean, I get it. I get why people hate it. Um, but suck it up. <laughs> does, does, does being on a show give you that sense of security that you oh, can oh, actually oh, take God. that attitude? I'm definitely comfortable where I am, you know? It's like... If I wasn't on a show, I'd be out there like probably like I gotta get this job, I gotta get this job, I gotta get this job. But since I actually have a show that I'm on, you know, it, it, it does add a sense of security. You know. And then once you're on the show, then it becomes easier and easier to get the next one. That's true. Because that's true. you build a yeah, following. So they, they help each other. I mean, I, I shot a movie last year that um, they offered me the role because of because of Teen Wolf, and it was called Taco Shop. So and I had a lot of fun. It was so much fun on that sh on that shoot. So. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, that's what I'm working towards. You know, I think every actor is working to the point where they don't have to audition anymore. Mm -hmm. um, which would be nice, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. And then, there used to be a point where TV people always hated TV and was like, ah, you now want to do movies. And, but now that's completely changed. And why do you think TV is so well regarded now, beyond just the security mm -hmm. aspect? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, TV, I mean, I, I've been working on TV ever since I was eight years old. Um, and for me, Teen Wolf is just the craziest show I've ever been on. The most ambitious schedule. It's just day and night, day and night. Just hard, hard, long hours. Um, so, I mean, I think, I, think, I think we are the epitome of, of TV and what we do. And, like, so... I don't know. I don't know if I can say it's changed for Teen Wolf because I think I think Teen Wolf. I don't know. <laughs> what is your question? <laughs> my, my, my question basically is: TV seems to have this new cachet among actors that now it's like even movie stars want to do TV. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's the same thing that applies when TV stars want to go on movies. I think they get a little bored and they want to switch it up. So I think if you're doing movies all the time, you kind of want to switch it up and do TV every now and then. Or at least that's what I think. Especially when you're when you're that big, when you're a huge movie actor and well established, and you just do like a couple of guest spots on a TV show, it's really easy. It's just a lot of fun work. Whereas like Teen Wolf is insane amounts of work, <laughs> but I, I love it. I love it because it, it, it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something. You know. At the, during the panel, you were talking about how you like the physical stuff, you like to do your own stuff. And have you had any close calls? Have you almost got have you been injured on some? Um, close. I mean, I, I, I've been I've been injured uh, like minor little things. Um, hurt my ankle really bad one time running through the forest, and there was like this, this um, root that was just sticking out, and I didn't see it. And I hit my ankle on it really hard. Um, I got knee in the balls one time, which really really. Hurt. <laughs> I was gonna ask what, what happened there because that, that was something I was gonna ask you about the injury. Was it, like why is that now? <laughs> I don't know. It was it was it was the first season that it happened. Um, I don't know why they didn't put that on the gag reel. Maybe because it was too gnarly. <laughs> like, I, 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 I really hurt myself. Like, I, I, uh, I, I couldn't move for a little while. I had a medic check on... They didn't check me out. But right. I was just, he was, like, talking to me, and he's like, so how are you feeling? I was like, I don't know, man. I don't feel very good. So, um... But, I mean, close calls. I had any close calls. I, oh, yeah, the first... The first, um, the first thing I ever really did on Teen Wolf, on the pilot... Uh, or no, it was the first season, it wasn't the pilot, but the first season, Styles is Jeep. Um, he had a stunt driver, and I was supposed to run from this gate and hop 
up into the Jeep and you're supposed to spin it like like reverse down this hill and spin and drive off. And there were no seatbelts in, in the Jeep. Um, I jumped in, closed the door, and we had a stunt driver, so we floored it down the hill. And I was like, whoa! Like, and it, but I was, I was still acting, so I had to be like, okay, cool. Um, and so we floored it, and then like he um, he lost control. He started losing control, and I saw him like kind of freaking out. And I was like, oh shit, we're, we're, <laughs> we're flipping. I, I, I knew I knew that we were flipping over. Um, so I braced myself. I was ready for it, and like we ran up on this curb, and, like we were like jumping like that. So I mean, nothing happened, but I think that was the closest call I've ever had. I think. And then since this is our last question, um, what yeah. what can fans look forward to in season three? What, what's the one or two episodes we should be watching out for and why? Uh, well, I, I've only read the first script of season three. Oh. We haven't even started filming it yet. Oh, okay. Um, just, it's everything that Teen Wolf is times a million. Uh, new characters, new alphas, um, made possibly new love interests, uh, different char characters that never really met each other in the other two seasons are going to be acting and working with each other. So, um, I mean, you can just, ex everything, everything, just Teen Wolf, you know, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> you're, you're trying to have a serious conversation. I know. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah, of course not. Okay.